Hi, I am Dr. Pratibha Singhi. I am Head of Department of Pediatric Neurology at the Amrita Hospital, Faridabad. I am also the current President of the International Child Neurology Association. Frankly speaking, when we started about three decades ago, there was hardly any pediatric neurology in India. Very, very few, you could just count on fingers, you know, trained or qualified pediatric neurologists. And most of pediatric neurology was being taken care of by either pediatricians or people who had been trained in adult neurology. So there was very little awareness that pediatric neurology as such has different sort of issues and needs to be dealt by different sort of specialists. And so when we started, uh, people really didn't know. I can give you an example of, let's say, autism. All those children were referred to us either as mental retardation or as speech delay because there was total lack of awareness about autism amongst pediatricians, amongst the lay people, etc. Gradually, as we started, you know, seeing these cases, we did our own series of research we identified certain features for early diagnosis of autism. Then we came up how stable is the diagnosis of autism if we make it early. And then we started picking up the characteristics of these children as compared to children who have developmental delay because of other factors. And so on and so forth, we built up these kind of research issues till we finally even did very higher kind of studies using SPECT and PET to see the function of the brain. The challenges are many because we are a huge population with so much of diversity, both in terms of socio-cultural issues, healthcare access, um, availability of qualified doctors, particularly in rural areas. So to deal with those number of patients, we are still very few pediatric neurologists. And even today, many of the so-called easy diagnoses are also being missed because there aren't enough qualified people to look at these children. We have been trying to, you know, strengthen the community um, doctors by taking trainings, by having modules of, you know, um, care for epilepsy, care for autism, early identification of disability, etc., so that even the grassroots workers can identify these children as far as possible. But it is going to take a long time. So actually I view that as a continuum because you cannot have pediatric neurologists everywhere. And actually there's no need to have pediatric neurologists at every nook and corner. But what you need to have is an awareness of a level that a general uh, practitioner should be able to pick up clues that this child has some sort of a neurological disorder which is beyond the capability of his diagnosis, diagnostic abilities or management and then when and where to refer. If we get this referral system right, then I think many things can be put in place because the child can get adequate attention maybe at a district level, maybe at a tertiary care level or maybe at a super specialist level depending on what sort of an underlying problem there is. But we don't have those sort of referral systems or for that matter even we don't have registries in India yet and therefore we don't even know the extent of problems that we are dealing with. Of course there are now many surveys that have been done multicentric, multi-regional, so and so forth, but they are all like cluster samples. But we don't have real registries of diseases. And till we have those, we don't have accurate estimates of either problems or resources available to deal those. So diagnosis is the first part, you know. And as we say that, the, you know, the earlier you diagnose, the better it is for the child. Because for the first three years, the brain has the maximum plasticity. And therefore, any new thing that you teach the child has its imprints which are long lasting and there are synaptic connections which will proliferate. The right things will be learnt by the child. 
Of course, we do have some plasticity going on throughout the lives, but it's nowhere near the first three years. And therefore, if, if there is something that can be diagnosed early and we can start early intervention, then that's extremely helpful to the child. Yes, there are certain issues like genetic disorders and for that matter, even let's say autism, which don't have a cure as of today. But the, it's not like you have to cure it with a drug. But there are multiple therapies, multiple interventions, training, you know, that makes the brain potential, you know, at its maximum peak by which we can help the child. So that the child can at least move forward and improve, maybe not cured completely, but can lead as normal a life as possible within the limits of his potentials. So that can be done. You know. And let me also say that with the newer research in genetics, maybe today we don't have therapies, but lots of research is being done in resource you know, rich countries where gene therapies are being found for so many things. Things that we thought were non-curable yesterday. Now today we can talk of cure. Of course, it's terribly expensive and today may not be you know, available for masses, but once you know, things develop, then it's possible that it may become widespread. So we do have hope. Yes, it's always nice to see into the crystal ball and be futuristic. I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful that, you know, pediatric neurology is being recognized as a branch. We had like, you know, about a handful of people in the association, in the Indian association when we started and no formal training programs. All of us had to be trained abroad to be able to take this. And now we have more than 500 people in the association. We have institutes where there are, you know, formal fellowship programs, postdoctoral programs and more than that, people are interested. In fact, I'm proud to say that, you know, in the International Child Neurology Association, the largest number of members are from India. And this way, you know, that interest has been aroused. And so if people really take it on in a constructive way, I do see a lot of positivity after five years.